Okay, while I was saving my last video, I was attacked by some enemies, so there's been some experience gain and some combat damage on some of my characters now. Then you'll see that in my next battle. And I'll also be able to show you uh, Shanna in the party. First time seeing me with a three-person party. And we'll try and fight that guy. Oh, he got away. Dang. Oh, there's another guy showing up just as we left, but it was too late to try and fight him. Oh, and again! Missing out on a lot of experience. But I'm not gonna miss out on your experience, buddy. She attacks with the bow, and sometimes it uh, stylizes her archery like that with the camera close up. Doesn't always do it though. See, my harpoon can kill those guys one shot now. Okay, that animated kind of weird magic item. I don't know what you're gonna see it as, but that looked kind of weird for me. Security is still tight across that bridge there, so we won't be able to do anything else going that way. So I'm just heading down. And back out through the way we came. Oh look! Experience! Okay, how much experience can you give me? Oh, there's only one. Yeah, everyone's pretty damaged, so I'll focus on healing first. Especially since there's only one. It's always easier to heal when there's just one enemy. Waiting with Dart there, uh, because Lavitz is close to leveling up his addition. And I also have a boss fight coming up soon, so I want to try and Heal everyone to full health. This is annoying because he keeps putting one point of damage. Just for this one point of damage. I gotta keep dragging this out. Oh, now he attacked Shana. Which means I might be able to. Yes! I'm actually able to take him out now with everyone at full health. One attack. One harpoon. It's gonna be even more powerful now that it's leveled up. Now let's talk to this guy here so we can get rid of a couple of items. Like the clothes that I recently swapped off Shana for the vestment stuff that we picked up earlier. The other thing I got rid of was that spark net. Oh good.
goody. Frugal, the head warden, is blocking our path. Well, he deserves his comeuppance, so why not beat him up before we escape from this jail? We're not just gonna escape this jail, we're gonna beat him up too. Uh, he's pretty nasty, so it'll serve him right. Okay, so he sent the orders to the people who attacked Sellies. He wasn't in the cutscenes, though. This was during... present during the attack. Well, that's just nasty. Dole just wanted... Shana kidnapped. Frugal didn't see the point of attacking a village just to kidnap one girl, so he added an order to destroy the village. That's pretty mean of him. It also explains that Hooded Man's comments about Frugal not understanding the value. Thought it wasn't important enough to be worth sending them without adding the order to destroy the village. Now, see, the guards with Frugal are a bit tougher because they're with the boss. See, remember how how that one guard was taken out by one of the thing by one of Harpoon attack? That took a harpoon attack and an arrow, even after it leveled up. Yes. Yeah, he did bring more guys, but that's the last time he'll be able to bring them. Bring in more troops. After we take these guys out, it'll just be frugal. Yes, they damage me when they die, but the experience is worth it. Yes. Yeah, these guys are a bit tougher than those other wardens, too. Plus, they got that. They do damage all my characters. getting even stronger. Not only does it increase his damage, yes. he also takes less damage himself, too. Shara's <laughs> taking quite a bit of damage now. And that guy's getting ready to die soon. So, probably a good idea to have her guard before we take him out, so she takes less damage. See, he does his death damage everybody thing, which is powered up to, say, attack him with Lavitz even though he had Hello health, because Shana can then heal him with a potion. See, I told you I'd use the potions eventually. Some of them at least. Shana's in the yellow yes. too now, but she doesn't really need the potions the way Lavitz does. She's got better speed. In fact, Shana has the second best speed in the entire game. She's good. At least as far as playable characters go, she's got the second highest speed. Yes. Double flash. 
Yes, having a boulder thrown in your face hurts. <laughs> but you gotta be pretty tough to take a boulder in the face and only take 20 damage. A guy's like Fabio. I don't really know who that is, I just know that a comedian made, made a joke about Fabio taking a goose to the face. He was upset about it, but apparently it didn't hurt him that much. It was just upsetting, on account of the blood. From the context of the joke, I gathered that he was riding a roller coaster, and a goose was flying by, and his face smacked into the goose. Blood and feathers everywhere. Killing blow? Oh, yes it is. Everyone levels up, and Lavitz gains a new addition. That night shield there will be useful later too. I'll equip it as soon as I can. Wait a minute. We beat you, which means you should be killed. Well, if you're not dead, at, at least you're still too injured to stop us from escaping. So we better get going. Well, that's still the case. Uh, the standard order raised the drawbridge. I got away. Oh, but Lavitz might not be so lucky. Nope, he managed it. So that looked kind of weird. <laughs> thing made that jump. Yeah, Frugal's worried about his own hide now. Oh, so he can be killed. He's apparently just too tough for us to kill him. At least, at this level. that uh, night shield we found. I'll just put it on Shanna because her defense is the lowest and she needs it the most. See? He's in the second level of his edition and I think I'll save now and call it a video. Because this is getting pretty close to YouTube's limit. So, see you next time.